What's happening everybody and welcome to another episode of the Sling Ting Slingshot YouTube channel and today I'm going to be telling you about my favourite five custom catapult designs so keep it locked. First up, um, you won't be surprised to hear, it's a John Jeffries frame, and for me it's the Apex PFS, the Apex Pickle Fork. Now, JJCC catapults are the Rolls Royce of catapults when it comes to custom design. The design itself is immaculate, it's clean, the lines are clean, it fits in the hand lovely, and it shoots amazingly well. And also the materials that John uses are second to none. You're talking woolly mammoth tusk. You're talking the finest Makata um, resins. You know, <clears throat> top of the range materials. And then John's workmanship is second to none. It's OCD on hyperdrive. I mean, you'll never spot a blemish or a mistake or any little mark or anything wrong with John's work. Every single frame is immaculate, so I can't knock it. The Apex PFS, puck a catapult. The next one is another obvious one, so I'm going to get the obvious ones out of the way first. Acer, Romany Custom Catapults, and he's the creator of one of the catapults on this list today, the Raptor. Now, what can I say about this? Acer also uses very high-end materials and materials that you just don't see every day. He gets them delivered from all around the world um, so that he can offer a one-off custom catapult. I love the way the Raptor's handle goes upwards because an upward handle pushes your hand towards the cup and gives you gives you a nice solid grip and the Raptor comes in wrap and tuck or clip versions I prefer wrap and tuck <clears throat> because for me clips just never seem to last there there's something on the catapult that can can go faulty or wreck the frame you know if you launch the the bolts up too tight the back nuts can come through the frame and things like that. So me personally, I would have gone for the wrap and tuck. But Acer offers both versions and the finish, once again, is incredible. Um, I'd say all these makers I've picked up little tips and tricks from. Um, he only sands, I believe, to around 400 grit, which gives the Raptor a really nice matte finish, like a silky matte finish um not too glossy and i love that as well i love you know getting that matte finish just right i think it can make a frame look next level so now we're going to move into some designs that are not so obvious so the next one on my list is the tadpole now if you've been into catapults for a while you'll already know what this frame is this was a very famous uh, well-known frame um, by mark johnson and Mark isn't making any more at the moment, but uh, my good friend Henry Joe is making them. Um, he's not doing too many customs, but I'm sure if you hit him up and speak to him, he might be able to sort you out with one. Now, the tadpole, the, the handle is brilliant. It's a lovely, lovely handle, and that's where it gets its name from, like the tail of a tadpole. Once again, it's got the upwards flick that I love. I don't, I'm not one for the Mustang style um, downwards handle. I always prefer the upwards handle because for me, it pushes my hand in towards the frame, towards the tip of the cup, and that's what I like. The cup itself is ergonomically designed to fit the hand. Nice low cup, um, which gives you extra stability when you're holding the frame. Um, and they just looked really, really awesome. The colour coordination, the finish, 
everything. Just a really, really cool catapult, a tadpole. Now the next one on my list is another catapult that if you're new to slingshots, you might not have come across. The Little Big Shot, the LBS by Joey J5. Now the LBS was uh, a nice, small slingshot. That's what used to catch your eye, I think. When they came, you just weren't used to catapults being so small. Now they only come in 70 mil, and then you had the Mega, which was 80 mil. And the basic design, is based around a middle finger lock with the opposite of a palm swell. So the swell faced outwards and it was to give you that middle finger lock and then your hand would brace on the cup. Now, the thing I liked about these, they, they were just fun. They were fun looking. You know, it was, I wouldn't have said they were more competition frames or hunting frames, but they was just good fun plinking frames i would say in my opinion anyway and joey used to make his own resin and things like that which was very cool he'd put things you know native to his uh location like the rattle of a rattlesnake in resin or a gator foot in resin and things like that and i just thought it was really really cool and a really cool fun design now it was very very close to the Amigo by Dollar Bill. Um, and there was a bit of politics going on at the time. But Joey put his own shape in and turned it into his own thing. Um, probably just enough to warrant calling it his own design. But nevertheless, puck a little slingshot. The LBS. Now the last one on my list is another small pocketable frame this one came it still comes actually you can still get this one but it's one of them little hidden gems a little secret that nobody really knows about is the liquid bullet liquid bullet and that's made by ramin rushani and he's got a partner who helps with the cnc and the building side of things can't remember the guy's name at the minute but i'll put it down the bottom of the screen here somewhere now, a liquid bullet mostly made from steel, cut on a CNC machine. The finish is immaculate, machine quality, beautiful, mathematically correct. Um, like I said, it's another tiny little frame, comes in 70 mil, and it's got a lovely modern shape and look about it. Um, it's customizable in the fact that you can tie the bands on with wrap and tuck or you can get thumb screws yourself um, and tie your bands on with the thumb screws this is another just fun plinker it's not a hunting frame it's not a competition frame but just another little fun catapult to be honest with you um, you can tie a paracord in various ways around it it shoots tubes it's just it's a very multifunctional, small, pocketable slingshot. That's a lot of fun. So that pretty much wraps up the video of my top five custom catapult designs. And if you've enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content. Also, drop me a comment, let me know what your favourite custom catapult is, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Nice one. Cheers, guys.